friends welcome back to our channel so from today i am going to discuss about the concept of xml in our web technologies xml so today session we'll see the introduction to this xml so what is this xml and why we are using this xml so xml stands for extensible markup language so this is also your extensible markup language and it has a slight difference over html so here this focus on how to describe the data how to describe the data so how the data should be described not on the appearance right and this is mainly used to store and transfer data in the internet so main purpose is to store the data and transfer the data in the internet and this was created by w3c so we all know about this w3 so which is a world wide web consortium so this is an international organization which will create a standards for the web world wide web right so this was created by this w3c right and mainly this is used to transfer the data in between different applications right so what are the features of this xml features so the first feature is structured it is a structured language so that means as the name indicates it is also a markup language so here we are going to use tags to describe the data okay and also it will follow the tree structure tree structure so that means by using this tree structure we are going to describe the data that means it will be having a root elements and the child elements so we'll see the declaration i mean the syntax for this tree structure and all these things in our further sessions but this is a tree structure and it is a very easy to understand and one more thing it is a platform independent platform independent that means the xml applications can be executed in different platforms among different operating systems right so xml applications can be executed on different operating systems different operating systems and similar to this platform independent it's also a language independent it's a language independent so language independent means so these applications can be trans i mean can be shared among different applications which are being developed on different technologies right so this xml applications can share data among different applications developed with different technologies different technologies right so there is no need of parsing among different layers right so the data can be shared among different applications right which are being uh, developed with the different technologies so easily it can be shared and also the name itself indicates it's an extensible so here it can also be used to create user defined tags this is the main thing 
user defined tags so we can create our own tags by using this xml right so for example let me tell you one thing so if you want you, let it be one content is available in the let's see uh, for example i want to create some book details okay so i'll go with the some uh, paragraph tag in our html right in our html and here i'll write some book name book name okay for example let us take web technologies author let us take uh, title and title uh, okay some edition example some edition some fifth edition right i'll close the tag so this is the content which is available in the web right in the html if you want to write some information so if i want to get only the edition if i want to get only the edition or only the author only the book name it's not possible to extract the some portion of the content if you write the, the same thing in the html but by using the xml we can extract a specific portion because we can create by using our own tags user defined tags so this can be written as so i'll write it as a book which is a user defined tag and here i'll write a book name i'll create one more tag here so i'll write here some web technologies So similar to our uh, HTML, so it will be also having the starting tag and the closing tag. Book name. Book name. And similarly, I will go with the author, title and uh, title, author, and similarly, edition. Uh, some fifth edition as we have written here and I'll close this book so you can see here we are writing our own tags we are creating our own tags so if you want to extract only the edition and this can be done by using this edition tags by using this edition tag we can extract the data which is available under the edition but that, that is not possible in the HTML because we have written the completely in between the paragraph tag. So we can't extract the particular information, right? Particular information. So that is a that is the reason why we are moving on to the XML, right? It will be very easy for us and also it can be shared among different applications. So one, one file we will implement and that can be used among different applications. And similarly, the file extension the file extension for this XML is .xml. So similarly, I mean, uh, if, if you are using this HTML, we are using some .htm and .html. Similarly, the XML file should be extend, uh, saved with the extension .xml, right? And one more thing, declaration, XML declaration. So what is the syntax for declaring the XML, right? So XML declaration. What is the syntax? So this is an optional thing. Okay, this is an optional. So it is an optional. But if you want to declare, so the XML document should start with Start with declaration. If you want to declare, right? So easy. It is an optional. But if you want to declare an XML, so the XML document should start with the declaration. So here the declaration will start. Uh, I mean, declaration will be in between. See, question mark. 
XML small letters property name is equal to value comma oh sorry there is no comma space property name is equal to value and so on question mark close so in between this question mark less than symbol question mark and question mark greater than symbol we have to write this declaration and this property property the first one is a version okay which will give the version of xml so whatever the version we are using that version should be displayed here in the in the place of value and the second one second property uh is encoding so which is specifies the character encoding character encoding value like utf uh, there are different encoding values utf8 or uh, us a ascii etc etc there, there are different uh, a code enco character encoding value so whatever the character encoding we are for i mean this xml document follows so that should be displayed here and the third one is a stand alone stand alone so this describes the ddd so ddd means de data definition okay data type definition right so sorry document type definition sorry it's a document type definition See, it is a document type definition. So we will go in depth about all these things in our further session. Don't worry about that. So DTD, that's a document type definition which gives the validation of all the XML elements in the document, right? It validates. It validates the structure and the grammar of XML document. So these three are the properties we can include in the declaration. Otherwise, simply you can leave it and if you want to represent, that should be the first line of XML document, right? For example, we can write it as, so question mark, XML, I'll go with a version is equal to some 1.0 and then encoding is equal to uh, some UTF-8 and standalone is equal to some yes or no. So if it is yes, it was using the internal DTD and if it is no, it was using the external DTD. So we'll go in depth about the DTD in our further sessions. Don't worry. So but the DTD means a document type definition and this will be used for validating the XML documents, right? Validating the syntax and the vocabulary of XML documents. Okay, so that means it will strongly check the syntax. This XML document will strongly check the syntax. Right. Now, so this is about uh, our declaration, XML declaration, and then the comment, comments of XML. So how the comments can be included in our XML document that is similar to our HTML commenting. So how to represent the comments in the XML document. So, so how we have written the comments in the HTML the, in the same way we have to represent the comments in the XML also. So that means we have to write in between the delimiters uh, less than symbol exclamatory and two hyphens and write down the comments here and end with the two uh, columns and the delimiter greater than symbol. So, if you represent this one, this we call it as a single line comment, single line comment, right? And similarly, the multi line commenting is also similar, but here we will start in this way and here we will write line 1, line 2, line 3. So, both are same. So, etc. Go with the double uh, hyphens and uh, greater than symbol. So, whatever the thing we have written in between these delimiters right so that we call it as a comment and this is a multi-line comment if you want to represent the multiple lines as a comment so this is a way 
so which is called a multi line comments multi line comments right so that means in between the symbols and the symbols so this is the commenting either it can be a single line comment or a multi line comment right and uh, this is how uh, we can comment with the xml and we have seen in today's session about uh, the what is an xml what are the features of xml and how the xml declaration can be and what how to represent the comments in the xml right so let's stop here and there is a lot of difference between this xml and html but there is only similarity is in writing the tags the elements so that's the only similarity but the complete working is completely different uh, we'll see the differences among these uh, html and xml in our further sessions and also we'll see how what is the structure so just now we have discussed about the structure of xml which is which can be represented the data can be described in a tree structure which is having the root uh, root and uh, children so that we'll see in our further sessions and similarly we have also discussed about the dtd the document type definition so internal dtds and external dtds so we'll see all those things in our further sessions right so let's stop here and hope you understood this complete introduction about the xml uh, document and uh, uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much